Welcome back, boys and girls. And my buddies, they wanted to do some trap shooting. And I'll be honest with you, about 10 years ago, I did try trap shooting, and I was horrible. I was hitting maybe about 12 out of 25, and I told myself, this isn't for me, so I gave up. But honestly, I didn't do my research. I had an improved cylinder in my shotgun, and I was shooting a few traps, so I was horrible. But this time, I didn't want to make a jackass out of myself, so I actually went out, checked my pattern, I did some research, and what they were saying is that you really should have modified, improved modified, or full choke, because you're shooting about 33 to 35 yards away. So this time, I patterned it, and I even spent 50 bucks on an improved modified choke. And I also took my TriStar over and under in 20 gauge and I decided to see which one is better. And I'm gonna give you my personal thoughts about semi-automatic and over and under. And 12 gauge versus 20 gauge. And one mistake that I made was I only took this one choke. Now when I got there, I found out it was wobble trap, meaning the shooting distance is under 20 yards. So I was talking with the guy and, and he told me I have to be right on it when I pull the trigger. And I actually did a lot better than I thought. I hit 20 out of 25 on my first try with 12 gauge with improved modifier. So I can't complain. Take a look. Alright, pull. 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 On my next try, I took out my TriStar and decided to give it a try. Now I started to push in two, so pushing two, three, four, I actually did quite well. But as I was at the far end of each side, with 20 gauge, I definitely had a disadvantage and I only hit 16 out of 25. Take a look. Pull. 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 Ah. Pull. 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 Ah. Pull. Ah, I'm going to. Pull. Ah. Pull. Ah. Pull. 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 Okay, as a beginner, so what do I think about semi-auto or over and under and 12 gauge and 20 gauge? Now first, let's talk about the semi-automatic. Now this only having one barrel, meaning the point of impact does not change 
I could shoot the same way over and over again and it's easier to be on the target. And being a 12 gauge, it's got more power so it reaches the target faster so I don't have to lift so much. And it's got a lot more pellet on it so it seems like I have a higher chance of hitting the target. So for now, I think I'm going to stick with my semi-automatic in 12 gauge and focus on improving my shooting now. Now let's talk about my TriStar. Now this over and under barrel, I feel like it's a little too short for the trap shooting. And having a two barrel, I don't know if you've seen my cowboy action shooting or not, but if you look at it, you could see that upper barrel seems to be shooting about six inch higher. So I was missing the target twice in a row, and I realized I had to aim lower on a second shot to hit the target. So point of impact changes. Now this helps if you have two clay pigeon flying. So when you go at the first one and by the time you go to the second one, it has a further distance. So that might help. But most of the trap shooting that we're doing is we're doing one by one. Even with a two birds, when we hit one, as soon as we shoot the first one, they will release the second one. So having a higher point of impact didn't really help me that much. And I felt like 20 gauge was a little bit under power. It wasn't getting there as fast as I wanted. So as for the 20 gauge, I'm going to use it for the intention that I bought it, which is bird hunting. Not for trap shooting. And lastly, like always, thank God for what you have. Enjoy life with what you got. But mostly, before you go out and buy a new gun, you want to test out what you have and decide what really works for you. See ya.